So welcome to module two, which is going to be all about domains and how we go about choosing a domain name. So your www dot, whatever the keyword phrase is, dot com or dot org, not net, as I'll explain. So that's your domain name. Um, and this is uh, really important and this is going to also help you to rank for your main keyword phrase. So without further ado, let's crack on. Okay, so we've done our keyword research and we found ourselves a possible main keyword phrase that we want to rank for. And we've also found some other keyword um, ideas that were suggested by Google that we can set up other uh, pages on the main um, site. So um, in this case, there'll be categories um, which are kind of like pages. And the reason that we do that is that um, when Google is assessing uh, a keyword phrase on a page, it looks to see if there are other associated uh, phrases. So these are the ideas that Google keywords uh, have, have come up with. We look to see if there are other associated phrases on the site, um, which then means it's an authority in the main keyword phrase. So in this case, um, when we look put best workout videos into the um, Google keyword tool, uh, dance exercise videos and workout videos for women were some other keyword ideas. So if we associate them all together, Google likes that and therefore thinks that we're actually um, creating a site that is relevant for the term best workout videos. In addition, of course, if we're also ranking highly for dance exercise videos and, work and ranking highly for workout videos for women, then it means we're also driving additional traffic and we're not dependent on the main keyword phrase for all our traffic. So that's great. So how do we go about finding a suitable domain name? Well, what I do is use this site here called DomainsBot. DomainsBot. If you put DomainsBot into Google, I'm sure you'll find it. And then I take my selected main keyword phrase. Let's do that. Uh, copy. Let's go to that a minute. Then we go over here, we drop it in here, best workout videos. And what we're looking for, and the great thing about Domains Bot is it puts it in the sort of the order of preference. We're either looking for the exact main keyword phrase, in this case bestworkoutvideos.com, or if that's not available, we would then look here for a .net or .org. There's no real difference between .net and .org in terms of ranking. The king of domains is .com, and the next one down, or the next two down, on probably equal pegging, um, is .net and .org. And I think it's purely, um, if they're both available, uh, one that seems to make sense. I use .org a lot because it sounds a bit more educational. Uh, .net sounds a bit corporate, but if you've got a sort of a corporate -y site, then .NET might be suitable. Failing that, I wouldn't necessarily go down to .info, although lots of people do. Um, I've not really tested it out, so there may be evidence to suggest that that may be the next suitable one. But in my experience, the next suitable one is to add hyphens. I'm just going to add hyphens here. Best workout videos. Add hyphens so it makes sense as a keyword phrase. Um, and here we've got best workout videos dot now Google is fine with hyphens. Um, it sees it as uh, the, the the main keyword phrase, so it's more than happy with with that. I'm just going to copy that now, and I'm just going to put it in here. Best workout videos. The only downside of using hyphens is that you can use too many, uh, and it doesn't really look aesthetic to the to the reader, so a human eye, um, and they may think that it maybe is not as professional as having a nice clean bestworkoutvideos.com but as far as Google and rankings concerned they're more than happy to see um, hyphens in there they don't really have a problem so it may be just purely an aesthetic uh, reason why you wouldn't want to do that let's have a quick look actually out of curiosity at dance exercise videos and workout videos for women so um, dance exercise videos 
as you see once again no.com.net or .org so I might want to go to hyphens if that was going to be my main keyword phrase and work out videos for women let's have a look at that take that out put that in work out videos for women right now we've got .net and .org so actually um, that could be a nice site that you might want to rank for but I think um, because it's nice and clean and it says .org but I, I'll just copy that shall we and uh, I'm just going to put it in my little Excel spreadsheet now the only uh, issue with that I think that's that might be better however the searches are less than this one best workout videos and also using the hyphens I can get to use .com and in addition I think I could base a, a site around the idea of best workout videos and add to categories um, it, it seems like a good umbrella title for a site so I think we're going to go for best workout videos .com. so the next stage is to um, register that domain um, and then find a hosting account on which to put it and that's what we're going to be talking about in the next module so before we do that I'll quickly summarize the main points so just to summarize when we're looking for domain names what we ideally want is main keyword phrase dot com we can't find the main keyword phrase dot com the next thing we want is either dot net or dot org dot net or dot org then after that I would probably go for main use hyphens uh, so main hyphen keyword hyphen phrase dot com Google are happy with that the only issue is probably one of aesthetics as I said some people just don't like pressing one or it doesn't look so professional um, then secondly you might want to sort of think about adding words or even a letter so it could be main keyword phrases dot com or if that makes sense or main keyword phrase review which is dot com which is often popular if you're selling uh, uh, and reviewing products or something or main keyword phrase info dot com um, other ones I've used are my main word keyword phrase so something that's readable and makes sense when you when you read it um, but maybe just adds um, a, a letter or two and in fact probably the less letters um, the better um, but if it makes if it reads and makes sense then that that's cool but um, the main thing I think is try to find keyword uh, when we do our keyword research try to find keyword phrases that will give us a dot com or a dot net or dot org ideally or uh, main keyword phrase dot com with hyphens um, and if you if not then maybe explore some other ideas as I've suggested so um, I hope that all makes sense that's the order to the preference that we're we're looking for when it comes to domain name so now we've got that and we found the one that's suitable in the next module um, we'll go about to um, show you how to register it um, and find a host if you haven't already got a hosting account um, etc so until next time I hope that all made sense um, and I'll see you in the next module